Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to install the Zigmatech Dark Knight uh, Series 2 Nighthawk Edition uh, cooler onto a Gigabyte X79UD3 uh, motherboard. I heard uh, online that it was uh, the instructions were confusing and so I figured I'm installing it, might as well try to create a tutorial out of it. I looked at the instructions and they are confusing and uh, but I think I've made sense of it now so we'll see how this goes so the uh, CPU cooler comes with various different parts there's a little bag that has the label LG8 2011 and that's the socket I have it's an Intel uh, LGA 2011 socket so these are the screws that are in that little baggie this is the other uh, part you will need uh, the instructions have uh, their uh, certain parts labeled type 2 and type 3 and I guess that's the uh, instructions you're supposed to follow although it's not uh, very clear because it looks like some uh, type 1 and type 2 for the LGA 2011 they, they share instructions so you have to do uh, a little bit of both anyway I put two of these in already I'm gonna put the other two here it doesn't look like, well, uh, even though there is a LGA, uh, LGA 2011 uh, backplate that comes with the kit, the CPU cooler kit, it doesn't seem like um, you, need, uh, you need to install it on this motherboard or this combination. Uh, it's weird because they only provide instructions for type 1 and type 2 2011 sockets and the back plate is listed as a uh, type 3 so I'm not sure what's going on over there anyway so these are the other two parts they are clearly labeled Intel uh, and so I'm, I guess you set them in like so in the back bag of uh, a whole bunch of different types of screws there are these ones here that once these guys go on top of the the standoff screws then you put these in and then you screw them using using these screws here they have a little uh, a little protrusion here uh, you would put them on again I've done it for one side already I'm gonna I'm doing it for the other side I already, as you notice, I have already put the CPU in, which uh, I'm sure is, you know, pretty straight. Well, it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you guys don't know how to do it, you can, you know, look up other YouTube videos that show you that information. That's pretty easy. I'm only concentrating on the Zigma Tech CPU cooler installation today. So these are all hand tightened now. So the next step would be to apply the thermal paste that came with the Zigmatech um, CPU cooler on top of the CPU and then the CPU cooler then would go on top. This plate will go underneath like so and then there are screws that uh, you would use to tighten those down as well. So let's apply the thermal paste. Okay, so it says to apply it evenly uh, over the CPU. I know uh, some people prefer to just apply a dab on here and then with, as the pressure of the, the CPU cooler will sort of spread it out. The thing is, I think it's a good idea to do it in this case because if you look underneath here, there are these three copper heat pipes that are, will transfer the heat from uh, the CPU uh, to the fins where they can be blown off using the fan. I think in this case then it would be a good idea to spread out the, the thermal paste on the CPU because as you can see the, this, uh, the copper pipes are separated by this uh, silver aluminum uh, bits here so they may not uh, spread it out evenly just from the pressure of it. So I'm applying the CPU thermal paste now. 
Oh, this may be not be the best way to do it, but that's how I'm doing it. Make sure your, the top of your CPU is clean. So if you have thermal paste from a pri previous uh, CPU color installation or like that, you want to you know make sure to uh, clean that off real well and again there are other YouTube videos that show you how to clean that off so I will not be demonstrating that here besides my CPU is fairly clean to begin with I did use a lint free cloth to wipe it down just in case there were some you know dust particles on it or something Sorry about my cats, their constant presence here. If I tried to lock them out, the noise probably would be worse. Okay, well that looks pretty good. Maybe I applied a little too much, but hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. There is a protective cover on the bottom of the seat uh, of the uh, 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 where the where the heat pipes will make the contact with the CPU. So make sure you uh, take it off before you apply this uh, CPU cooler to the CPU. Do not touch it. You don't want to get any dirt on there. So that comes off. Fair enough. Then it goes, try to put it, as close on the, the middle as you can. Then this little plate here will go in between like I showed before. And there are these two hex hexagonal uh, screws uh, that will then hold this thing down. Now, I I didn't show you how to put the fan on, but that's pretty straightforward. I did put this uh, uh, see, uh, the fan on before because. Uh, I was a little worried that if I tried to put it on after that the shaking of the you know me putting it on might uh, damage the CPU and stuff so you could try it the other way but uh, I was more comfortable I felt more comfortable doing it like this there is a tool that comes with it that will help you tighten these guys down so I'm gonna do that now Don't tighten both. Uh, don't tighten one end before you've uh, had a chance to put on the other end. Okay, so this is a little tricky because now I have the 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 fan in the way. So maybe that's the reason why you wouldn't put the fan before So 
that wasn't that difficult, but still a little minor annoyance. Okay, so let's see. Make sure once again that the core is somewhat centered over the CPU. That looks pretty good. And then use the little wrench that comes in the kit to tighten this down. Do a little bit on each side at, at a time. Don't, uh, don't turn down one end completely. This way you make sure that you're not applying too much pressure on one side. That should be pretty tight there. And so, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like the CPU cooler has been installed on there successfully. So, thank you for watching, and all the best with your own install installations.